This is a quick comparison between the Shunsora 7-inch Santoku and the Global G48, which is an 18 centimeter Santoku, roughly the same size, about seven inches. And I say this because these are pretty much in the same price point and a lot of people find themselves trying to choose between the two when they're trying to choose a knife. They each have their pros and cons, so hopefully I can help you make your decision as you try to figure out which one to get. Both of these knives are hollow ground Santokus, which means they have this hollow ground Granton area right there, and they're a little bit thinner than normal knives. Interesting thing to note is they're both handmade and they're both essentially forged. And I say that because this doesn't really have a tang and it's not really forged in a traditional sense. Yes, the blade is forged, but at the end of the day, this is a hollow, hollow shell, which they fill with sand and then weld onto the blade portion. The reason they do that is for balance and weight because they're able to really precisely control how much weight the knife has by adding sand into it. But there have been some stories about this weld during faulty manufacturing breaking, which isn't really the best thing you want to hear with a sharp knife. Either way, this is ground to a 15 degree cutting angle. That's ground to a 16 degree cutting angle, which is relatively similar. The Global, however, uses a much softer steel. It uses Chromova 18, which is about 56 to 58 hardness, while the Shun Sora uses VG10, which is about 60 to 61 hardness. There are pros and cons to both. On the one hand, a harder steel means it's much more resilient and it holds an edge better, and it's not gonna dull or wear down as fast. On the other hand, a softer steel allows you to abuse the knife a bit more because it's just gonna warp a little bit and bend a little bit if you abuse it instead of chipping and cracking. But I think the thing is that as long as you're using your knife properly, as long as you're treating it with respect and you're using good knife skills, you pretty much always want to have a harder blade just because that's less maintenance, it's less honing, and it's less sharpening you need to do. Another important thing to note is that the blade on the Shun is actually wrapped in stainless steel and welded on on either side, which number one gives it this gorgeous wave finish that I hope you can see. But number two, it makes it very, very resilient to pitting, to chipping, to rusting and staining on the edges of the blade just by virtue of having that very specific stainless steel molded onto the outside. The Global, however, does not have that, so it's much more likely to rust and to pit and to stain. The next thing I want to mention is that the Shun Sora has a 10-year warranty, while the Global has a lifetime warranty. But I've found that that's sort of a moot point because both warranties only cover manufacturer defects and at the end of the day any manufacturer defects you have are going to show up in the first few months of owning the knife regardless. So again it's sort of a moot point. The Sora however comes with free lifetime sharpening which is not a moot point. The reason that matters is because obviously with a 7 inch blade like this any reputable sharpener is going to charge you a minimum of five dollars per inch which means both of these knives are gonna cost you roughly $35 to sharpen. And even then, you don't really know what the result's gonna be. There are always horror stories with even the best of sharpeners. On top of that, the Global is gonna to need to be sharpened more often just because it is a softer steel. And the way they've sharpened it from the factory is sort of interesting. The grinding edge starts all the way up here about a centimeter and a half from where you're cutting. Many knife sharpeners are not able to handle this because when they're sharpening, they're putting it down on a whetstone and they're moving back and forth on the whetstone to sharpen it. They're not doing this weird little rolling thing to get this concave or convex edge. So a lot of them refuse to work with globals or they say they can't work with globals. That's another thing you want to consider. Either way, like I said, there are pros and cons. I'll put links down to both below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.